Hello, and welcome to the second in a series of podcasts for Mr. Allaire's biology class. This week's topic is chemistry as it pertains to cycles of matter and energy. In this podcast, we'll be focusing on matter, atoms, and elements on the periodic table. So sit back, relax. For Kalani High School, this is the Allaire Report, and I'm your host, Mr. Allaire. Matter is all around us. It's defined as anything that has mass and takes up space. That means that it could have very little mass and take up a lot of space, like a cloud, or have a lot of mass and take up very little space, like a rock. Chemistry is important in biology because life depends on chemistry. Your body, and that of other living organisms, uses chemicals in food and the air to keep us alive. In order to understand living things, we need to understand the building blocks that make up those living things. Atoms, elements, ions, isotopes, compounds, bonds, and chemical reactions are all important aspects of chemistry. Macromolecules such as carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins will be especially important in our conversations about biology. Let's take a couple of minutes to talk about atoms. Atoms are one of the smallest units of matter. They are so small that if I was to line up 100 million atoms, it would only measure the length of about one centimeter. Although atoms are very small, they are not the smallest unit of matter. Atoms are made up of even smaller pieces of matter called protons, neutrons, and electrons. Two of the three subatomic particles, as you may remember from physical science, have charges. Protons have a positive charge and are found in the nucleus of the atom. Neutrons have no charge, in other words, they're neutral, and are also found in the nucleus of an atom. Electrons, on the other hand, orbit the nucleus of the atom and have a negative charge. Because atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons, all atoms are neutral. The positive charge of the proton balances out the negative charge of the electrons. In order to get a better understanding of what an atom looks like and the subatomic particles that it's made up of, we're going to take a look at three different atoms. The first atom that we're going to take a look at has two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. It's a balanced atom. This is a helium atom. Its symbol on the periodic table of elements is HE. Its atomic number is 2. The atomic number indicates the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom, and it has an atomic mass of 4. The atomic mass can be found by adding the number of protons and the number of neutrons found in the nucleus. We can see from this diagram that both the protons and neutrons make up the nucleus of the atom, while the electrons are found outside of the nucleus. Because electrons have the same type of charge, in this case a negative charge, they actually repel each other, which is why we see the electrons so far apart. In this next diagram, we see an atom that has seven protons in the nucleus, seven neutrons in the nucleus, as well as seven electrons orbiting outside of the nucleus. This is a nitrogen atom. Its symbol on the periodic table is an N, a capital N. Its atomic number is seven. Again, the atomic number equals the number of protons found in the nucleus. Its atomic mass in this case would be 14. Again, you can find the atomic mass by adding the number of protons and the number of neutrons together. to picture an atom with its protons, neutrons, and electrons helps to give us a better idea of the structure of the atom and the overall structure of matter. What I'd like you to do now is to picture in your mind a beryllium atom. Beryllium is an element that that is found on the periodic table with the symbol Be. It has an atomic number of 4 and an atomic mass of 9. Take a moment and picture in your mind what this atom might look like. The protons, the neutrons, and the electrons.
As you can see from this diagram, beryllium has four protons in its nucleus. It has five neutrons in its nucleus, and it has four electrons orbiting around the nucleus. As we talked about in class, the periodic table is a handy tool to use to determine some information about elements. In this case, we can look up and see that beryllium has an atomic number of four. This tells us that it has four protons. We see that it has an atomic mass of nine. If we take that atomic mass and subtract from it the atomic number, we can find the number of neutrons. An atom will always have the same number of protons and electrons, thus balancing it out and giving it a neutral charge. When you look things up on a periodic table, you're looking up the names and information about the elements. An element is a pure substance made up of only one type of atom. And these are represented on the periodic table by both one and two letter symbols. For instance, helium has the symbol HE, nitrogen has the symbol capital N, and beryllium has the symbol BE. Take a look at your periodic table, which I know you always keep close to your heart because chemistry is more important than life itself, and you may recognize some of the names and symbols of elements that are on there. Well, this is the end of part A, the uh, first part of the chemistry section for 3.1, so please go ahead and uh, watch and listen to the second part of this podcast, which will be talking more about uh, ions, isotopes, and other things having to do with chemistry. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.